Have you noticed that in Formula 1 2021, there's always the same team at the back? No matter what the racing situation is, no matter what happens, Haas is always at the back. And let me explain to you why. Okay, so one of the major things that makes Haas so slow in 2021 is that their 2021 car is actually their 2020 car. And you may have heard that in Formula 1, not upgrading is going backwards. Because if you're not bringing upgrades to your car and all of your rivals are, then you effectively are going backwards in a grid because even if you start with a car that's better than theirs, then they will gain tenths of a second over the season and you will go backwards because you won't gain anything. And Haas actually didn't use any of their development tokens in order to upgrade the aerodynamics, the chassis or everything. So the car is the same as last year and they even used some of their last year chassis this year. And this wouldn't be as big a problem if the aerodynamic rules didn't change. So as you may know, the Formula 1 rules changed from 2020 to 2021, especially in the floor. So teams had to cut a triangular zone in the floor, which I'll show you on the screen right now. And if you see the Haas car from 2020 and now the 2021, the cars are basically the same with that cutout on the floor. And what this means is that they effectively had a car designed for, for a full floor and then they just cut a hole in it. And this is not how aerod aerodynamics works. So Formula 1 cars are such tightly integrated systems that you cannot just cut, uh, cut off a piece and hope it works. You need to redesign the entire airflow structures around it. And this is why you see their car always at the back and this is why it doesn't work as well as their rivals. Now there are two more reasons for Haas being so slow this year but before that if you're enjoying this video please hit the like button it helps out the channel a lot. Okay so the second reason that Haas is so slow this year is that they are focusing all of their development resources into 2022 because in 2022 the new era of cars is coming and this is a era that's supposed to be here until 2025 or more so it's very important that a small team like Haas that doesn't have the budget or the resources to develop both cars really sacrifices one season in the name of the next few because Haas has been developing and sacrificing development on their 2021 and 2020 cars in order to hit the 2022 regulations with a banger and I really hope they can because I don't see Haas staying in Formula 1 if they don't but basically with the budget cap and with the aerodynamic restrictions that have been imposed in Formula 1 this year teams really need to choose where they want to focus their development. So of course that if you are Red Bull or Mercedes and you are fighting for a championship, you really want to put a lot of resources into this year's car because any championship is a championship. But if you know that best case scenario, you are going to fight for P8 in the standings if you develop your car, you might as well focus development on the 2022 car. So Haas is the team with the most wind tunnel time right now, but they are also one of the teams with a smaller budget. And what this means is that they can apply all of that budget and use all of those wind tunnel hours in order to develop the 2022 car and make sure that they start the next era of regulations with a very good car and I honestly hope to see Haas make a step up next year with their car and make a step up on the grid because if not they are going to be sacrificing two or three seasons in order to develop a car that's not that good. So I really hope that the engineering team at Haas has a very clear idea and a very good grasp of these regulations in order to hit the next year with a banger and make sure that their car is really good and that they can at least fight at the top of the midfield because if you are investing two years of all of your engineering team in a car, you better have a good car that can fight on the top of the midfield. And just like they had a few years ago, a car that could fight for the fourth in the championship, they really need to hit that kind of performance again to justify all of this development. So the third reason that Haas is so slow this year is actually their driver lineup. And I'm not going to get into if I like their driver lineup or not this year, but one fact that you cannot question this year is that they have an all rookie lineup. And this is not ideal in order to develop a car and it's not ideal in to getting everything you can out of a car that's actually quite slow. So Haas, as I said, has the same car as they have in 2020, but their results are very much worse than they were in 2020. And in that year, they actually scored some points and Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen could actually extract the most from the car because even though they were never in a top team and never fighting for wins or championships, 
Kevin and Roman were actually very good and experienced drivers and especially Roman was very good at developing the car. Just remember that 2019 car problem where he actually wanted to go to an older spec in order to make the car better. And you cannot get that kind of experience from a rookie lineup because they are still learning what a Formula 1 car is. They have never experienced other Formula 1 cars. They have never experienced how a car evolves from one season to the next. This makes it really tricky to develop the car and even with the help of simulator drivers and everything it's really tricky to get the most out of the car with an all rookie lineup because in the end they are still learning and there's no problem with that actually it's very good that they are learning in a car that's so slow as this because it takes the pressure off them completely so Schumacher and Mazepin have no pressure because no one is expecting them to be in Q2 Q3 or in the points they just expect them to finish the races and they actually have been making a quite a good job of doing that they don't have any pressure they are actually just learning the ropes learning how a formula one car works learning how the season pans out and through no fault of their own they actually don't have any experience of developing the car and because they are still learning they cannot extract 100% of the car's performances just like the more experienced drivers that were here last year could so these are the reasons that Haas is so slow in 2021 and I think that most of them are actually a big bet in the future so I hope Haas stick around to see the returns of this investment. But this has been it for this video and let me know why you think Haas is always at the back and what they could do better even in a season like this. So this has been it for this video and if you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe it helps out the channel a lot and if you enjoyed this video please go watch my previous video that's right here on why track changes must be made at Spa after such a horrible form one weekend. So this has been it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!